Today I'll be teaching you how to make skyboxes and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to start out with a map that's basically, well whatever map you have just you know wherever you want your skybox to be you can make things look really big and skyboxes add a lot of light to places and just make your map look really good. Um, I use them a lot and as often as possible actually. I try to make as many outdoor scenes as I can while I'm um, you know, well, when I make maps, because the skyboxes just make everything look really nice. Okay, well, to start off, what you want to do is you want to go into your browse. You want to select filter and type in sky. And you can come up with this. Uh, it, you can type in actually tool, sc tools, sky, or sky. Like, just like that. Uh, I'll add a little thing. Um you double click the bigger one, this one's for fog, but you double click the big one make a box, oops, you make a box it doesn't matter the size, I mean as long as it surrounds the entire map that you have it doesn't have to be even, I'm just, you know, kind of a neat freak alright, now what you got here is this huge block and it's eating your map right now, it's just, you know so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go type in you're gonna press while the skybox is select skybox is selected you're gonna press control H this menu is gonna come up it's gonna say 32 most likely if it says any other number it doesn't matter just t uh, get rid of that type in su subtraction or minus 32 hit enter and now your your box is hollow so as you can see, you know, you can go outside of it and you'll see it, and then you go inside of it and you can see it again. And you can see the whole box. Uh, now, I'm going to delete this wall just for later purposes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take another box. Uh, what I do is I usually just, you know, copy this, paste it over here, and make it a little smaller. So it doesn't have to be, you know, the same size or anything. And you're going to go over here. Oh, you yeah, probably want to make it a little smaller there too. Doesn't matter. It's just like I said, I have a problem. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're going to place an entity. Try to kind of place it in the middle of the map. It doesn't matter. Once again, and this is gonna be your sky underscore camera right there. Um, don't leave it. Just don't leave any. Don't touch any of these. These are all fine. You're going to apply that and get this little red box. Now, what this is going to mean is this box is going to make everything. This is basically your map right here. So, this is this right there. Now, what you want to do is it's the same way. So, like, you know, if you want to put something on this side of the map, if you want to put something right here, then all you have to do is, you know, oops. I hate doing that. All you have to do is go back to your this sky box and place something right there. You type in prop underscore static world model browse building and you know you can browse through these. The buildings make it add kind of a city background. Um, really makes your map look good, especially if you're going for a kind of a town look like these. These are awesome. Once you apply it, now this is going to seem, even though it seems very small compared to a terrorist like him, see, these are going to be huge. They're going to be 16 times the size. So you kind of want to, you know, put them wherever you would want them in your map. Right there is good. And you know, you can copy, paste, click, put your mouse in that little circle and spin it around. And Make that however you want. Let me do this real quick, just to instructional purposes. But you get the point. Um, that could be a problem. Drag these down. Yeah, make sure you check that, so you don't want a messed up map. You can uh, you know, adjust the height properly and. Blah 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 blah. You know, take this, drag it up right there. See, you got a little town around your 
So now that's going to be a huge when it comes to this map. Now, say you want like you know a little block right here, or you want like a street going off this way. So you want this to go off out into the distance forever and ever and ever. You know what you're going to do is you're going to select the texture, whatever you want. Oops, I hate you that. You're going to go back to your skybox and you're going to see your map right here. Um, delete this because that's in the way. But what you're going to do is you're going to click box, your block tool. I'm going to reset the grid. I'm going to take this and drag it out. And reset the sizing. Now that's going to be huge, and that'll look like it's going to go on forever in your map, just to really make exaggerate it. I mean, that, that'll that look like it's just ginormous. Um, can't really put it any other way. And now what you're going to do is, uh, you have a skybox. I mean, this will all be sky. I mean, if you look down here, and if you fall off, you'll die. I mean, that's why I don't recommend you putting these holes in your map, like right here. Um, when you make a skybox, use the hollow texture, because say something like say you use say you do this, um, so you just kind of like you know box it. Oops, jeez, god dang it. So you just box something like you know, you box it like that, you know, hit enter uh, like that. Well, you may not notice it at first, but you know, you put that there, hit enter, copy, oops, jeez, copy V, Ugh, that's annoying. But okay, y you'll get it eventually, you'll get it, but you'll get these little leaks, and when you go to make water, or you go look at it, it'll be very blurry and kind of draggy, and like y'all, you'll, you'll know it when you see it. That's why I just suggest you use the, um, hollow the control H negative 32 hollow thing um, well let's go look at see how it looks